Hey, what's up everybody? Merry Christmas to you and yours. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. We're having a beautiful holiday season. We're not saying happy holidays around here. We're only saying Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you and yours. That's what this is all about. It's about Christ being born. Christ mass. Christmas. Christ. Get it? That's what we're doing. We're letting you know. Merry Christmas. This is a very special, special episode. I would call it Light of Tabor, but it doesn't really fit in that category. So it's just an episode with your boy Marky Mark. We're going to be showing you guys some of my Christmas retro nostalgia goods, madness, all that. VHS, records, DVDs. We got cassette tapes. You know, you know the things you used to play in boom boxes back in the 80s? We got some of those. We got all kinds of stuff to show you guys. It's endless. We got cups. We got Christmas cups. You know? Should say Merry Christmas instead of sa Happy Holidays, but that's okay. That's okay. We got the cups with the old Coca-Cola Santa Claus on them. We're drinking water so we can stay on the nice list. We're trying to stay off the naughty list. We're trying our best, okay, folks? That's all we can do. That's all we can do. All right. Without further ado, guys, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. We're rocking the... Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Home Alone shirt. We'll zoom in there for you. We got the we got the festive Christmas lights going. And we're gonna we're gonna just jump right in here. We're gonna jump right in. We got Norman Rockwell's Christmas book. This is a classic. This is a classic book right here. We got tons of good stuff in here. Got stuff from uh, Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens. Robert Frost, I mean, what more can you ask for, guys? This is a, a Christmas essential right here. This is essential Christmas reading. And this was, I believe this was put out in 1977. Copyright 1977, how about that? So we got a lot of Christmas, just that old school classic classic Christmas vibe with that classic Christmas artwork that we come to know and love. Let's see what we got here. Maybe we'll read you guys a little poem or something. Maybe we'll read you guys a little poems out of this book, Born in Bethlehem. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. I'll show you guys what we're reading in the art to go along with it there. And that's from Luke. That's from that's from the the Gospel of Luke. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from, from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. 
that's that passage there. It goes on to talk about the three wise men from the book of Matthew. We got a little something from Shakespeare. Some say, William Shakespeare, some say that ever gainst the season, that season comes, wherein our Savior's birth is celebrated. The bird of dawning singeth all night long, and then, they say, no spirit dare steer abroad. The nights are wholesome, then no planets strike. No fairy takes, nor witch hath power to charm. So hollowed and so gracious is the time. That's from Hamlet, Act 1, Scene 1. From William Shakespeare, of course. Now, I'm trying to look. I believe there's actually, like, the very first Christmas, like, like where Santa, like, originated. There was this poem from, like, back in the 1800s, if I'm not mistaken. And it will do 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 Christmas at sea. A visit from Saint Nicholas. This is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the very first. This is like the origin of Santa and Christmas as we know it, kind of, to an extent. In America, at least, you know, the American Christmas. Culture. Let's get into it. A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. T'was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop. The coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in, f in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimple, dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly. That shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump. A right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere they drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Alright guys, I think that wraps it up for this book. But we got tons of other stuff to show you. We're going to show you some of my favorite Christmas tapes, and just some random Christmas tapes in general, because we've got tons of them. First up, we got Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. This is a classic one. Christmas Eve. Christmas themed. We've got... Muppet Family Christmas. I know everybody knows about the, uh, it's right over here. We got the Muppet Christmas Carol. That's the most famous Muppet Christmas tape. 
That one's a classic. It's a must-have. But I also like some of the other ones. Muppet Family Christmas is one of them. And, the, and there's a few more we'll show you. This is a sleeper. Has a Christmas theme to it low-key. Donovan's Reef with John Wayne. Takes place on an island. Island Christmas with some fist fighting. Highly recommended just because not a lot of people are aware that this is a Christmas movie. Donovan's Reef. Check it out, guys. And what else do we got here? A Jetson Christmas Carol. Classic 90s cartoon Jetsons. Grew up on it. Love it. Good stuff. Hanna-Barbera. Can't go wrong with it. We got a Flintstones Christmas Carol. Good old classic Flintstones from back in the day. Also classic. Now this one's a must-have. Superbook. Which has got like this anime style to it. And it's Christian themed. And this one is... The special Christmas volume, it includes The First Christmas and Miracles of Love. Classic, must-have, really good stuff with an anime style to it, so definitely worth checking out and owning. We also have Scrooge with Albert Finney. Classic Scrooge. This isn't the original, but this probably is my all-time favorite. I like the original as well. I like many of the Scrooge um, remakes what have you. Scrooged with Bill Murray. We got that as well. Just rewatched that recently. Classic, classic flick from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. When was that one put out? It's, it feels like late 80s to me. Yeah, 88. Correct. And that's Scrooged right here with Bill Murray. That one's, that one's a fun one for sure. Good little Christmas comedy. Starring Bill Murray. And here's, here's one you can't, you can't do Christmas without Home Alone. You just can't do it. This one's a fun little addition here with some cool special features and some some trivia games and some like some cool little special feature games where you can uh, set up the traps for the bad guys for Joe Pesci and uh, man, what was the other dude's name? He did the narration for uh, Wonder Years. Pardon me, pardon me. Daniel Stern, good old Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci. Highly recommend picking up this particular release. Because it's really cool and it's got cool special features. Another classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas. You can't, you can't have Christmas without this, okay? You got Danny Elfman from Oingo Boingo. Voicing Jack Skeleton, tearing it up. Just Christmas in, doing, doing the Christmas thing to the fullest, you know? This one's got a ton of special features on it as well. Really cool release from back in the day. Good stuff right there on DVD. We're just going to kind of run through this because I got so much to show you guys. We got so much to show you. We got Reader's Digest, Old Fashioned Christmas. Good one. Here's one. Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. This one's so good. This one has a lot of people in it, dude. It's got Whoopi Goldberg, Mark Johnson, Joan Rivers, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Cher, Katie Lang, like, the, Little Richard's in this one. It's madness. Madness. If you're looking for some Christmas madness, yeah, that's the, definitely this one. Pee-wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. This is a good one. Feel Good. Jug Band. Chris, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Jim Henson Video. Gotta have it. Gotta watch it. It's a yearly must. This is the jam right here. Really feel good. Christmas vibes in this one. Highly recommended. Highly, highly recommend this one. We're throwing it back. We're going way back. Like Pat Sajak. I love Lucy and the Honeymooners. Christmas jams right here. This also has a long lost Jingle Bells little snippet of the cast of I Love Lucy in Santa outfits singing Jingle Bells around their Christmas tree. It's been lost since 1952. Restored for this tape. Pow! Coming at you, man. That's a good one. We also have It's a Wonderful Life. Speaking of classics, old black and white, classic flick. Kind of a cool release right here from uh, Troy Gold releasing. Interesting artwork there. There's many releases of It's a Wonderful World, and I like collecting them. I like collecting them. I have a few others. And this is one of them, and this is one of my faves. This is the cool artwork. Classic flick. Must watch. Love Actually. Good Christmas flick. I mean, I rewatched it recently, and it wasn't as good as I remember. You know, not as family friendly as I remember. But you know, if the kids aren't around, it's it's worth a watch for the adults. Wouldn't watch it with the fam. Would not watch it with the fam. I would not. Not anymore. You know, this one. 
This one is so good. This one's like, this one might be like top three. I just watched this one in the last few years. Nicolas Cage, he's like a rich dude, and um, he thinks he's got it all. He thinks he's got it all. And he, and he meets this dude at like a, at a liquor store, black gentleman, and uh, he like casts this spell on him in this moment. And he kind of like switches his life up and gives him this other life where he doesn't have all this money. He doesn't have all these beautiful women, but he's got a simple life. And a wife and children and he shows him how much more valuable what what the true what, what what it really means to be rich you know spiritually like in your soul like the real the richness that family that love that the love of a family can provide and it's a christmas themed movie the family man and man what a what a good message what an awesome flick really cool i hope you guys check this one out Highly, highly recommend this one. The Family Man, Nicolas Cage. Check it out, folks. Babes in Toyland. Classic Keanu Reeves Christmas theme. Madness, craziness, corny, cringe, goodness. If you're looking for that, it's right here. It's right here, dude. Just uh, just uh, figure it out, you know? Pick it up on whatever format you can find it. Maybe it's on Tubi. Maybe it's not. I don't know. They got a lot of stuff on Tubi. A lot of Christmas flicks on Tubi. I highly recommend checking that out. All right, next up we have Batman the Animated Series from the 90s. Why am I showing you this? Because it's got a Christmas episode on it. What's that? It's called Christmas with the Joker. It's Christmas Eve in Gotham and everything is quiet until the Joker rides a rocket-powered Christmas tree to freedom. He stages his own twisted version of a television holiday special, one that will end in the murder of three of his enemies unless Batman and Robin can stop him this one aired on november 13th 1992 1992 this one's classic you can't do christmas without my boys at mst3k mystery science theater 3000 and why am i showing you this this one has two essential episodes on it one of one of them being manos hands of fate of course and the other one being santa claus conquers the martians which aired on December 21st, 1991. Twas the middle of September, and all over Mars, the children were rebelling. Why? Because they were strapped in a really bad, they were trapped in a really bad Christmas movie. That's the, that's the little quote. And this one, it has a, they do Patrick Swayze Christmas in it. Really fun, really cool. I included that in my first Christmas mixtape that I did with my boy, Cinestalker, a.k.a. Cinesanta. Yeah, yeah. Original, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss, from the 70s. Little velvet, little, little velvet there, little sparkles. We got some sparkle action. We got some cool special features. Definitely a cool pickup. Definitely worth owning. Santa's Magical Stories. This one has, like, all the claymation stuff that you... you that you didn't know about, you know? Because we've got the classic, you know, the Rudolph. But this one's got Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, of course. That's the classic original we just showed you. But it's also got Leprechaun's Christmas Gold, Pinocchio's Christmas, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey, A Year Without Santa Claus, of course. That one's pretty classic. Jack Frost, pretty classic. A Miser Brothers Christmas, and Rudolph and Fra Frosty's Christmas in July. So this one's jam-packed. Really cool if you're looking for some like some some different claymation. If you're really into the claymation Christmas jams and you're looking, maybe you're played out on the on the Rudolph, the classic Rudolph, and some of those other ones. This one has a bunch of extra ones in similar, you know, it's done in a very similar way, but they're different. The same, but different. Right there. That's what you want if that's what you're looking for. Gumby. Gumby's Arctic Antics. This one has just some winter-themed Gumby stuff and some Christmas-themed Gumby stuff. So it's got Santa Witch, Scrooge Loose, Northland Follies, and a whole bunch of other good stuff on there. This one's really cool. 80 minutes long runtime. And, uh, hey, can't go, can't go wrong with Gumby. Good old classic Christmas jam right there. I also like watching Home Improvement around the Christmas season. This one has a great Christmas episode. So this is season two. has a great Christmas episode on it. They have other Christmas episodes on other seasons. I also own season four, which I believe has two Christmas episodes on it, if I'm not mistaken. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that, but check, check it out for yourselves. Check that. 
I think it has two Christmas episodes on it. Season four, Home Improvement, if I'm not mistaken. Also really like watching the Wonder Years Christmas episodes. So there's a Wonder Years Christmas episode on season two. There's a Wonder Years Christmas episode on season five of Wonder Years. And there's also one on the final season, season six. And I know that because I, I included the one from season two on our first Christmas mixtape. And then I did the one from uh, the final season on our second Christmas mixtape that me and Danny did together. This is Benji's Christmas right here. Classic Christmas. Fun stuff. Kind of weird. Not the best movie. Kind of cringe. Still worth a watch. I like it. I dig it. This one actually has Benji on the other side. This is a double feature tape right here. Got the double feature action going there. All right, next up we have Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Pooh. From South Park. Probably not the most family friendly. But we own it. We own a lot of Christmas. We own Christmas everything. Do they know it's Christmas? The story of something. I don't know. It's like a bunch of people. It's like Bananarama. Freaking Duran Duran. Phil Collins. Like everybody from the 80s that was, that was popular. David Bowie. Freaking Culture Club. The Police. Sting from The Police. Cool in the Gang. Uh, Paul McCartney. It's like all these people, you two, getting together and singing um, Christmas carols. So, yeah. That's that. That's that one. I also have The Night They Saved Christmas. This one's starring Art Carney, Paul Williams, and Jacqueline Smith. This one's from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure it is. Kind of weird, kind of cool. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Might be a hidden gem. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't watched it in a while. We also have Reindeer Games. This one, I think, has Ben Affleck in it, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm, I'm pretty sure it has Ben Affleck in it. Let's see if it lists. Yeah, with Ben Affleck, Charlie Theron, Gary Sinise. Yeah. Yeah, this one has Affleck in it. It's like a crime caper, action comedy, something like that. I think they were robbing a place a lot of these i haven't seen in a while because i got so many i can only watch so many each year but i do remember enjoying this and i always like picking up these blockbuster vhs releases from way back just very nostalgic and cool so we've got more to show you hey guys we're gonna run through some of the christmas stuff on the shelf this is a classic french christmas christmas movie right here this is one of my all-time favorite christmas movies here comes santa claus has like this weird ogre dude that used to creep me out. Like I was super scared of him as a child. And um, yeah, it, it always just stuck with me. And it's got these unique little Christmas kind of carols in it and, and a unique kind of vibe to it. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Here Comes Santa Claus for a weird, unique Christmas experience from way back in the day. Uh, we've also got the horror flick, Don't Open Till Christmas. I believe that one is from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. UK Christmas horror. We've got a Twilight Zone, Night of the Meek, Christmas-themed episode. We've got The Santa Claus, starring my boy, Tim Allen, from Home Improvement, of course. We've got Gremlins, which is also a Christmas-themed film. We have Jingle All the Way with my boy Schwarzenegger. No, I'm not going to do my horrible Schwarzenegger impression. That's just not what we're going to do right now. We're not going to do that. We've got Yogi's First Christmas on World Vision Home Video Incorporated. That one's a classic. Hey, boo-boo. What else we got up here? Moving right along. This is not Christmas themed, but it's icy and it's wintry. The Icebox Murders. Horrible film. Great cover art. Love it. E.T.'s not Christmas themed either, but we, that's our E.T. section, and the E.T. section ain't going nowhere. Not yet, at least. A Christmas Story. Classic film. They did a re, they did a newer version. I want to check it. I haven't seen it yet. Heard it's good. Heard it's good. Gotta check it. This is the Book Box release. Good old MGM Book Box release. Why is it called a Book Box? Well, look at it. It opens like a book. Yeah, that's why that's that. We got Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, the infamous, horrible, horrible film. So horrible, it's hilarious. And uh, Trash Day, all that goodness. You know, we got every Silent Night, Deadly Night, except for Part 1. You know, we're working on getting Part 1. If anybody has an extra one, hit me up. Maybe we'll work something out. Maybe we won't. 
It's okay. We got two through five for now, and that's what we're doing for the time being. We also have snowballing. Not Christmas themed, but it's winter themed. That's a sex comedy. I don't really watch those anymore, but that's okay. We got it up. We got the snow theme flowing. We got it flowing here. What do we got here moving right along? We got Christmas. We got a Chipmunks Christmas on cassette tape. We have Ren and Stimpy's Croco Christmas. And we also have Christmas with the Chipmunks Volume 2 right here. So we got a lot of we got a lot of Christmas chipmunks. And I think I have a chipmunks themed tape as well somewhere. I'm not gonna pull that out though. I got too much. Uh, we got a Grinch. This is a, a Taco Maddox record recording device that uh, you can record into, and when you and it has like a motion sensor thing. So when you come right here, I don't have batteries in it that are working right now, but basically you record something on the side by pressing the button, put your hand in front of there, and it says it back to you. So it's kind of a unique little little device there. We got a classic Simpsons Christmas special from the first season of The Simpsons, the original first season. This is a must-have right here, Santa Claus the Movie. Can't have Christmas without Santa Claus the Movie. Dudley Moore, John Lithgow. Gotta have it, gotta watch it every year. Shout out to my boy Sinistalker. I think that's his favorite Christmas movie, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not his favorite, it's, it's definitely up there on his list. And it's up there on mine as well. We got a classic in Black Christmas from the 70s. I don't watch this one too often anymore. I don't watch horror as much as I used to, but we got it out. We got it on uh we got it on display here. And we're gonna be moving right along to one of my favorite Christmas gems. This is an all-time classic. A Walt Disney Christmas. I used to watch this religiously when I was a child. And uh, it's always good to throw on for a rewatch. Very nostalgic, very cool, very family friendly. The capture of Bigfoot. Not Christmas themed, but it's winter themed. You get it? You get it? I think you get it. Oh, there's Santa right there. We got a little Santa. We got a little Santa thingy imaging here. Let's see if he still works. Oh, he does. What the hey? How about that? Got our little Santa there. We got Johnny Mathis, Home for Christmas. Look at that Christmas sweater. That might be the best Christmas sweater in the history of mankind. I need that sweater. If anybody knows where to get it, hit me up, please. I need to make it happen. McGee and me. Twas the night was twas the fight before Christmas. This is an old school Christmas themed 90s TV show that was part cartoon, part live action. Highly recommend this one. Very, very family friendly and very cool and nostalgic and cheesy in the best of ways. Garfield Christmas. I think you guys know who Garfield is. I think you know. This is another Gremlins here. We already showed you the clamshell case release of Gremlins. This is a slip case with some pretty cool artwork there and some, and some little cards and some friends to keep them company there. They must have drank some water and multiplied. Here we go. We got Ernest Saves Christmas from back in the 80s. Good old classic Ernest. Was this one released in the 80s or 90s? I have a feeling it was late 80s. Feels like late 80s to me. Oh, and we got Santa Claus. I can't remember which Santa movie this was. I believe it had to do with the devil. Because there he is on the back. Yeah, that's not Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. It's another one. And this is also the same release, but a different cover art there. And somebody, somebody's little picture there from way back on one of those retro camera toys from back in the day. There's Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 4, another cheese one. Cheesed up. We've got Elmo Saves Christmas. We've got Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 5. One of the better ones, one of the better sequels. Bit of a gem there, actually, and I really like that cover art. Let's see what else we got here. We've also got the classic Rat Tail Christmas Spectacular. That's the first mixtape me and uh, Danny put out together. The second one, we did Thank God It's Christmas, which is like a TGIF-themed Christmas mixtape. And, uh, yeah, it's got, like, Boy Meets World, all those TGIF shows from the 90s. Christmas episodes of those hosted by me and my boy Cinestalker, aka Cine Santa. And then the last one we did was the Rat Tail Christmas Spectacular Part 2, hosted by Cine Santa and friends, as you can see. Cover art done by yours truly. 
the hand-drawn ones that is all right guys we're gonna give you a quick tour of the christmas tree here first up we got saint john maximovich saint john the wonder worker of shanghai and we got his holy oil right there we've also got saint nicholas of myra who santa claus is based on but this is the original saint nick who was a bishop in the orthodox church how about that guys that's a must have in the christmas tree right there beautiful paper icon there we've got saint nectarios saint nectarios that's the saint that the movie that just was released man of god that was based on saint nectarios and there's some holy oil as well from saint nectarios church and we also have a nice little beautiful icon here I believe those were the 40 martyrs who were killed by having to sit, having to stand in ice cold water for, for many days on end. There's a whole story to that that we'll break down in another video. Also, we got this beautiful little nativity icon here. Look at that. Classic nativity icon. We've got the Theotokos up here. And we got some of the myrrh streaming from the miraculous myrrh streaming Hawaiian icon in the tree right next to it. Classic Christ Pantocrator. This is the original image of Christ, the very first image of Christ right there. Had to have that at the top of the tree. Holding it down. Another nativity icon ornament right there. Also very orthodox because we're in a cave. We're not in a stable. We're in a cave. That's where... That's where it all originally happened. Right? Beautiful little ornament over here. Very beautiful. Wifey picked that one up at an ornament exchange party and topping it off at the very top of the tree. We got a beautiful angel that likes to change color. How about that? Really like that angel at the top. Making sure we're not missing anything here. We got a beautiful little picture of my children. Malachi and Maya right there gotta have that as well and you know what else we have to have the blow mold Santa you gotta have the classic blow mold Santa yeah he's got a little hole but we put the white paper in there and he's he's okay he's making it he's a survivor all right he's doing it so we got the blow mold we got a bunch of classic little we got the classic plush toys here we got the classic Plush Santa, let's press his hand, see if he has something to say to us. The magic of Christmas lies, the magic of Christmas lies in your heart. How about that, guys? We even got Rudolph over here. Let's see what Rudolph has to say. Rudolph, what you got what you got to say for us? Let's press Rudolph here. Oh, we gotta take the thing off his I think we gotta take the thing off his nose. There we go. How about that? All right, we got Rudolph, and over here, we got the classic Elmo. He does, like, all 12 days of Christmas, so we'll just do, like, the first day. Is that where we press it? Where do we press it? On the first day of Christmas, Elmo would love to give to you a great big piece of red cheese. <laughs> yeah, and you keep pressing it. You press it, like, 12 times in a row, and, uh, yeah, he just keeps going. Let's he keeps going. Finish. Yeah, he wants to keep singing. Nah, we're good. We're good, Elmo. We get the, we get the picture. But yeah, that's what's going on out here. That's the Christmas tree. Hope you guys dig it. We got more to show you. All right, guys. That pretty much does it for today's episode of Christmas theme stuff. You know what? We got a couple more things to show you because I got so much Christmas stuff. Here, we're going to make it quick. Jackson 5 Christmas record. I just picked up this Serbian Orthodox record of a choir from Arizona and it also came with a 45 check this guys it came with a 45 the voices of Christmas St. Stephen's Serbian Cathedral Choir so it's got these these uh Serbian Orthodox folks singing Christmas carols in English and in Serbian really cool really awesome might have to pop some of that on for you guys in another video we've also got this Rudolph Christmas themed Classic artwork there from back in the day. We've got Johnny Mathis. I always love my Johnny Mathis Christmas jams. Gotta have them on record. Gotta have them on 
whatever format they're available on, especially if they're at a thrifty for cheap. I'm gonna snag them up. We got that Christmas with the Chipmunks Volume 2. This one's on record. We showed you the cassette tape earlier. We showed you Volume 1 and 2 on cassette. And we've also got Disney's Christmas Favorites. Wow, that one's pretty cool, right? And last but not least, we have a Christmas present. Now, why is this last but not least? Well, let me show you. All right, let's see. We're going to open this up for you folks. We're going to open it up for you and show it to you. Check it out. This is why this is so cool. Such a unique record. Got a whole, like, Christmas wonderland going on up in there. Ooh, look at that. Look at all that. Walking in a winter wonderland. There it is, boy. There it is. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty unique. I like that one. It's got some good jams on it, too. Am I forgetting anything? I am. I am. I'm always forgetting something. We'll show you this as well. This was made by a buddy who's not really a buddy anymore, but that's okay. VHS Wildlife's Modern Christmas Mixtape. This was made specifically for my VHS group, which is still going to VHS Wildlife Preserve. This one has some, some crazy Christmas jams on it. I don't remember exactly what's on here. I need to put it on and uh, give it a re-listen. Because I remember it being pretty, pretty out there. What's Christmas really about? You know, after all this is said and done, I showed you guys all these cool things, all these cool things, all these cool gifts, these cool material objects. And uh, none of that's really what Christmas is about. You know, we give presents to each other, we give presents to loved ones, and it's and it's not really about the presents, it's about the spirit behind the presents, the spirit of giving. And uh, that spirit comes from the Holy Spirit. And, and the Holy Spirit is part of the Holy Trinity. And the Holy Trinity is God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the real meaning of Christmas... Christ, Mass, is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. I mean, no matter how you want to spin it, you could say happy holidays, you could say this, you could say that, you could try to avoid it however you want. But at the end of the day, deep down in your heart, I think we all know what Christmas is really about. I think we all know why we're really here. I think we all know why we're really celebrating this day, why this day is so unique, powerful, and special. And it's because it's the day... That Jesus Christ became man. That God became man. God was incarnate by the Virgin Mary and came into this world. Into the matter that he created. He became matter so that we could be saved. So that we could have an opportunity to share an eternal life with God himself man that's powerful you know that's what christmas is about christmas is about an opportunity to live forever an opportunity to conquer death as christ conquered death on the cross you know this is all an opportunity for us and it's and it's right here in front of us and uh i think a lot of christmas has been tainted it's been tainted. It's been tainted by materialism. It's been tainted by greed. It's been tainted by the passions. It's been tainted by all of the above. You know, and we need to get back to the root, back to the root of Christmas. Take it back. Take it back to where it all first started. Take it back to St. Nicholas of Myra. Take it back to the Orthodox Church. Take it back to iconography. Take it back to the nativity icon. There's so much depth in that one icon. There's so much depth in every icon. There's so much depth in the history of our Lord Jesus Christ and Christianity in general. I mean, what are we celebrating that happened? This happened 2,022 years ago. I mean, what's the year? 2,022. Why is it the year 2,022? Because Christ was born. Everything, everything is based. Everything is based off of that. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, it's the year two thousand twenty-two. It's two thousand and twenty-two years since what? Since Christ was born in Bethlehem. So whether you, whether you, 
whether you're this, you're that, you, it doesn't matter. If you're living in 2022, it's 2022 years since what? Since Christ was born. Think about that. That's powerful, man. That's something we acknowledge everywhere. Everyone who acknowledges that we're in the year 2022 is acknowledging in turn the birth of Christ, whether they like it or not. That's kind of beautiful, man. That's kind of beautiful to think about. That's kind of powerful to think about. Something to think about. And uh, you know what? We're going to end with a prayer from St. Nicholas of Myra. Be right back. Right, here we are folks here we are here we are in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit our god is one amen with divine myrrh the divine grace of the spirit anointed thee who didst preside as the leader of myra and having made the ends of the world fra fragrant with the myrrh of virtues thou holiest of men through the pleasant breathings of thine intercessions always driving away the evil stench of the passions Therefore, in faith, we render thee great praise and celebrate thine all-holy memory, O Nicholas. O blessed Nicholas, show compassion to me who fall down praying to thee, and enlighten the eyes of my soul, O wise one, that I may clearly behold the light-giver and compassionate one. The truth, of the, things, the truth of things revealed thee to thy flock as a rule of faith, an icon of meekness, and a teacher of temperance. Therefore, thou hast achieved the heights by humility, riches by poverty, O Father and Hierarch Nicholas, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. We pray this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I gotta, I gotta admit, it feels a little silly praying with this thing kind of just blinking all over me. But you know what? Lord have mercy on me. Please pardon my madness. I tried to spice it up. I tried to make it fun for you guys. But at the end of the day, we gotta bring it back. We always got to bring it back to the to the true purpose, to the true meaning of Christmas. We should not veer off too much. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to watch some Christmas themed films, you know, and do what you will. But but I'm pleading with you. You know, take a second to think about what you really think the the meaning of Christmas is, and and. Uh, what that means to you and what you want to pass down to your children. If you don't have children now, if you have children one day, what do you want to pass down tradition-wise that you that you do every year around this time of year for Christmas with your family? You know, what what's the meaning? What's the what's the spirit behind the actions that you want to pass down? That's something to think about. That's something I've been thinking about a lot as I've had my own two children now to take care of and to try to lead as best as I can, and um, it's something I constantly think about. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope this was fun. I hope I didn't come off too preachy. Love you guys, and uh, I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas with you and your loved ones. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas. I'm out. <laughs>